Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode number 92, recorded on March 10th, 2022. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And Agent Vane. And we are <laughs> here this week to talk about some ingress. We were off uh, last week. Um, we're trying to at least uh, do a show, you know, once every few weeks, if possible. Um, so we're going to do one today. And um, I didn't really get much ingress this week. I'm actually, uh, though in general, my new job is a lot less uh, stress and work in general. Um, we're in kind of a, a um, busy time uh this time of year right now so i've been uh um working from home to just hedge down code some stuff and so hopefully that'll slow down um once we get this new website launched and um i'll be able to get back on the road i could i guess go out on the road anyway later on but um i just have too, too much adulting too much adulting yeah well i've been playing around with some uh uh, I don't even know if you can see it, but uh, I got a laser. Ooh, and so, not a link uh, laser. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, that's me. So, let's go over to that way. And we'll just go to Dewey J because he's next in line. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of ingress, although I have got some in. I've been mostly working on a barbershop and songs like that. we got a number of concerts coming in April. And since I not the best singer. I really have to work at it. So I've been working at that. Did get to throw a few layers out as I was driving to and from practice and things and uh, got some making sure that those frogs don't get in underneath us and uh, been doing a little bit of map watching for phase three. And I've noticed that there's been some ornaments in the areas where there were Triana? phase two. I didn't see anything Triana. I was looking across the river at uh, Redneck Beach. I didn't see any over there either. Yeah, um, that's a good place. <laughs> but I, I think it, at least it looks like there's fewer locations on the map, but they may not be. It doesn't seem like they're lighting up all of them at once yet. So that's pretty much been my week. Let's go to Vane. Ooh, uh, I'd say the last two weeks I've I've really been focused on trying to get a little bit more AP towards this uh, third sixteen on the recursion wheel. And uh, I've been focusing on on badges as well. So I just got platinum badges. platinum scout. So there's there's that what? beautiful and, and of course it doesn't want to focus, but we there got plat scout and yeah. uh, just got engineer platinum as well. Trying to trying to speed up a little he's, bit on that playing catch up. He's photoshopping that in. Few other people. Oh no no that's. <laughs> right there. Like see if I if I just angle it just perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> People will be like, "No, that's silver! I swear." <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm running out of easy uh, platinums, and now I'm going to have to start the slog to a lot of onyxes. The only core badge that I have not yet gotten to platinum is hacker. Somehow, I got gold hacker in year two of ingress, and it has stayed gold <laughs> <laughs> since year two. <laughs> Thanks, Glyph Hacking. Uh, so yeah, I'm only at 71,000 hacks, and we're, we're, we're trucking along trying to get that platinum, and then at that point I'll have the, the core metals platinum or higher, as long as you don't count, you know, Wayfair as a, as a core metal. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that's, no, that's it definitely counts. <laughs> and, no, it wasn't an original. Uh, yeah, so right now, 4.5 million AP away from 16 and trying nice. to decide on if I recurse or if I stay 16 for some of these events we've got coming up. You could always Ooh. start over and go blue. Oh, I've been there, done that. <laughs> well, see, you, you've got experience. I came over, the, the grass 
was actually greener. <laughs> the skies are darker, but the grass is greener. Why are the skies blue? I don't understand. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that in... Sit, 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 situation Report. Nice. And uh, some other stuff. We're going to uh, talk about Cure Easy Effect Phase 3 coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you already mentioned ornaments are popping up, um, but nothing in Triana yet? Uh, nothing in Triana. Uh, I'm going to have no. to have a stronger campaign for Triana, I guess. If if you want, I can draw some circles on the map in Triana just to make it make you feel good. I'll light it up. I'm going to light it up. <laughs> I'll, it'll be own little battle beacon war there. Yeah, the, yeah there's always the agent beacons, so uh, you could have your own. Uh, but I, I have noticed that, at least in the area that I've been watching, our area, uh, I'm seeing those uh, ornaments show up pretty much in the same place that they showed up for two. So... Three of the nine that we had last time have shown up. Um, so I don't know if have you seen anything, uh, Vane, about more or less different places. I mean, we know we talked about in those places that didn't have anything last time that maybe they'll have something this time. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I think there seems to be something else at, at play here. It just doesn't seem to be... You know, filling in the in the blank areas, there are a lot of repeat sites. Mm-hmm. So it seems like there there might have been a, a choice made somewhere along the line to maybe pick some of those hotly contested sites to keep things a little interesting for phase three. Uh, specifically over here on the East Coast, we had multiple repeat locations. So who knows where I'll end up for uh, phase three. <laughs> Triana? It's going to be a big chilling down here. <laughs> So those beacons, again, are supposed to appear from 1430 to 1730 local time on March 19th this time. Uh, so pretty much the same as last time. Uh, they'll be able to deploy battle beacons for of any rarity, and the portal will take part for this event, so you can get a little bit there. This is that last chance you'll have to get those 10 in for the single-tier badge. So if you're looking for the badge, this is going to be your time to do it. Um, it looks like the scoring is going to be the same with the battle categories one through six and one, two, three, six, seven, or eight, uh, being your multipliers, uh, play zones look to be the same final score looks to be the same. So I really didn't see anything different, although I didn't go dig in deep on the rules. I didn't see much different on this end. I don't. Except for maybe we need like a 15% bonus for res. Because that's, you know, what we could use to win. I think it's going to be a pretty fierce competition. And, you know, the fact that it's still this contested going into mm-hmm. into Phase 3 really speaks volumes to both the, you know, official locations and then the agent-deployed beacons. Because I, I feel like Phase 2, there was a big uptick and agent deployed begins, and I feel like phase three is going to be even more of a like. All right, this is it. Like, if you got them, use them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that might be that might be something that the resistance looks at because we tend to do, at least historically on those other two phases, we tend to do rather well with these agent deployed ones. Uh, looking at the overall score, uh, but you know we can get blue out there and start taking those NIA portals and scoring the points more. So we'll see. We'll see if more things pop up in the next week. Um, so we got you know, just a week and a couple of days. So keep your eye on the map. Bolo, be on the lookout. So how many portals uh, did they put out last time? You remember? Uh, portals or cities? Portals. Oh, I don't know. About a lot. Portals. It was yeah. a lot. I mean, are we talking like <laughs> a, a lot, thousand? It was over 600 over. cities. Yeah. So you probably could be looking at it close to, I would say, in the range of 5,000 at least. Cause if okay, you had, so if you put out 25,000 of your own portals. <laughs> there you go. You can just uh, win the anomaly that way, right? You just got to get every, every Smurf to do 10 of them. And uh, then we have to get 10 frogs to come and lose. And we'll be okay. I don't think that's the way it works, but we could try. We could try. So, we'll see. 
Yeah, I think possibly, like he had said, I think it's going to warm up a little bit. And being as the weather might be a little warmer in hopefully. the United States, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully uh, we might have more people out. Well, and if you need to get it uh, even warmer, you can just head on down to Florida. Yep. Go play with Florida, This is man. true. There's, there's a lot of stuff happening down there. Well, stuff did happen. March 5th. Uh, the resistance agents from all over the southeastern United States worked together to throw 369 layers. And at the time I checked it, that was 34.7 million MU standing. And a lot of that's over cornfields. So uh, that's pretty impressive that they, they got that done. And it was all in Florida's panhandle. Um, so originally they called that operation 350 and the 850, which I guess is their... Uh, area code but they said since they broke the record they figured they'd have to change the name so they called it the panhandle world record uh so it beats the previous record of 314 layers which was 314 layers of green uh that was operation key lime pie times a hundred so and they must have had some really hardened anchors uh because the south I think it's a southeast anchor is still standing with 370 incoming links. So they looked for those hardened uh, portals and they put it in. So congratulations to Plumbus Gas Bag. That was his idea. Sharky Shark 45, Blue Horizon, or One Blue Horizon, and all those other Smurfs that made that happen. And uh, I will say those guys down there, uh, when they do something, they tend to go big. And uh, they went really big this time. You love to see it. Yeah. If only I could be there to assist on the takedown. That's you know the hey, part I'll, that I really miss out on. Hey, well, gotta, gotta know, fly in though. Well, you could probably drive. Uh, it'd be a long drive, but uh, it it looks like they just worked themselves up around the coast, and there must be a road or something that runs along that coastline. And they looks like they hit every portal along there, and then uh, threw it up into. The Chattahoochee. Uh, it looks like they had that's that hardened portal, I think, that they were they were using. Um, so, yeah, they must have had it planned well. It's it's interesting to even look at uh, just the picture of it. I mean, the picture looks like it's layers. There's so many darn links. So, I'm sure it, it, it looks like a piece of cake. Of it does blue cake. Yeah, it looks like they came all the way from like what Pensacola. Maybe Fort Walton around there and just heading down the yeah, that highway. Saint, Port St. Joe is about where they started, and they went up uh, to Elgin Air Force Base up into that area. So, uh, yeah, quite a lot. And I'm sure that it took them forever to farm all those keys and to mule them to wherever they needed to go. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it happen. I got to see the very end of it, but I would like to have seen those layers go up as they go up. That's... It's always fun to see that and watch the map and see if there's a enemy agent nearby that's going to snipe in and kill it at the last minute. But uh, so I, they did hit a couple of uh, uh, checkpoints, so I'm pretty sure they're going to win the cycle or won the cycle. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. Maybe. They get lucky. <laughs> I would hope so with a field of that size. Like <laughs> <laughs> that many layers, that big a field. Yeah, you probably ought to do it. So would wouldn't mind working on one of those myself. Maybe we could cover like Huntsville. Nah, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot Don't of do green, Huntsville. You got, say, you got a lot of green well. links running around your area right now, so it it would be a little bit tougher, I would think. It looks like your frogs are a little more map aware. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of links going around yeah. town. Speaking of lots of things, there's lots of things coming up in April, May, and June. How about that? Uh, nice Niagara segue. Re uh, thank you. Uh, Nyack released their schedule, and it looks like they are finally getting their stuff together. I mean, this looks like a proper schedule not like yeah we're going to do something in april uh so a lot of things actually they've got something march 24th through the 4th an unidentified event now let's look at our our 
He's shaking his head. Unidentified. Unidentified. Quotation marks. That's that's all he's going to say is it's unidentified. Is this but the Pac-Man is. event? Mm, so they be. can't title it. I mean, it's April. <laughs> it goes through the April 1st, right? April Fool's Day? Uh, uh, we got to have uh, something. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's an April Fool's joke. But uh, they're saying it's supposed to be a tiered metal event. So. Yeah, Operation Andrew what Krug. They, what they throw at us for this one. Yeah. Yeah, Operation April Fool. Um, second, you've got first Saturday, and the 10th, you've got uh, second Sunday. Oh, and I did leave that out. I did get a, uh, uh, well, I put in. I didn't get it. Yeah, I did get it done. Uh, second Sunday <clears throat> series of missions, so I won't have to drive an hour and a half now to get a second Sunday. I can go just 20, hour, 20 minutes down the road. So the second Sunday should be a little easier, but six missions in that to get your medal uh, 16th of the 17th, Kithera Anomaly. Kithera. Kithera. I had to listen to the pronunciation like uh, 10 times, times. To, to, to get it down. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, anytime a new anomaly comes out, it's like, okay, how do I say this one? How do I say this? Kithera yeah. flu. <laughs> Is that what you have? Kithera flu? <laughs> Maybe. So, what do we know about this anomaly? So it seems like it's going to be similar to to the Curie's effect in that there will be NIA Section 14 deployed begins. So there's another BOLO that has been issued, um, you know, first duration being the 16th and 17th of, of April. And, you know, the only thing that we know so far is that it will involve Battle Begins deployed by NIA Section 14 in some shape or form. Now, I'm hoping they mix it up a little bit. Um, I would personally like to see this touch a lot more areas. So if, yeah. if the current process is working well, I'd really like to see them expand upon that and just keep bringing in more areas for the official uh, badges. Because I've had a lot of people give feedback just saying that, hey, you know, why did so-and-so area, you know, not get included? There are several states that didn't seem to have anything and it's a little bit of a mystery right now as to how the algorithm was determining locations. Yeah. So I'd like to see some tweaking to that and hopefully a little bit of a twist on how the, the scoring metric works there. That way it's not just a, a pure repeat of uh, Curie's effect. And it does look like there's going to be a single uh, badge available. So don't know exactly what that's going to require to get, but they, I think they are saying it's going to be a badge. And then the 21st through the 25th, they're saying Earth Day. Now, I don't know what that means, whether it's Smurf the Earth or whatever. But uh, so there's something going on evidently there. Uh, then you get into May, you've got your first Saturday, your second Sunday. 12th through the 16th. Okay, say it. VSEC. Cathera. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost a microphone there. I did um. lose a microphone. I caught it, though. V sock. V sock. What? Whoa! That's you get me. the thunder and the lightning. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so it's I can very, set very it. Very frightening. Uh, please hold as we experience technical difficulties. So, so yes, uh, it looks like the 12th through 16th of May. Uh, Visak Day, if, if I'm actually pronouncing that correctly. And Sounds you'll good. get uh, 875 AP for deploying the last resonator on a portal. Uh, portal hacks will yield more link amps. Thank you. Oh, more link amps. Slightly more <laughs> ADA and Jarvis viruses. Uh, links shorter than 8 kilometers will be able to be created underneath fields. There will be 8-minute hmm. drone cooldown, and kinetic programs will be reactivated for the ADA, Jarvis, and L8 resonators so really really looking forward to being able to churn out more flip cards because <laughs> curie's effect has has made quick use of the yeah. the growing stockpile throughout the pandemic uh those went very quickly so those kinetic caps that i've been getting rid of i'm like crap i shouldn't have got rid of those now i can put stuff in them uh let's see what else we got eos imprint investigation 26th of May through June 6th, and that's a tiered metal event. 
And then folks can stop saying EOS Metal win because it's 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 you know twenty sixth of May through June sixth. There you go. Do we have any more information about what that that is? So this was a you know canceled event due to the the pandemic um, was going to be called uh, EOS and you know there was rumor that there was going to be a, a medal associated with that and some information and it looks like you know that's coming back around so I think similar to how we've we've had these you know, strange visitations from Nemesis and alternate timelines. Perhaps there'll be some further information there regarding the investigation. Cool. Mysterious. So so the pandemic scared those Nemesis guys away, and now they're coming back. Well, they were all wearing masks before it was cool. That's true. They did have masks on. So we can blame it on them. What is going on? Wow. <laughs> uh, then into June. First Saturday, second Sunday, and the ninth through the twenty-first summer solstice. Looks like there'll be a badge for that. And then twenty-fifth and twenty-sixth, another Cathera anomaly event. So I'm assuming that that's going to be like. Looks like it's just pretty much the same time. So a three-phase event, I'm assuming, and that would be the end of that third phase. Yeah, kind of like, I guess how they did the three different, uh, you know, areas and stuff and anomalies in the past. Yep. So what is the solstice, 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 saucies? Any idea what we got going on with that? So that is the June 9th through 21st event. It looks Mm -hmm. like 2000 AP for capturing a portal. Uh, Power cube hack, hack rate will be doubled. 30-minute drone cooldown, and then there will be a single-tier bronze medal awarded to agents participating in the investigation. So that could be interesting. I wonder if there will be a, a challenge metric associated with that or if it'll just be a you know hack a portal or, or something similar within that time frame. So more information to be forthcoming on that. So I might be getting information from the imprint investigation that we'll use the 9th, which would be a couple days after that. Who knows? So, so things going forward, some things going backwards. And I had announced the reversal of a change made during the pandemic period. March 31st, AP for portal recharge goes back to 10 from 65. So your first Saturdays may not be as AP fantastic. I'm going to miss it. Yeah, I, I understand the reasoning for it, but it, it's just felt like 65 AP was a a nice nice little bonus for for recharging, and it it didn't feel like it hurt things in the long run. Uh, uh, so I'm definitely going to miss it, but I'm not going to stop tap recharging. You'll never get me to stop tap recharging. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> You're just not going to make as much sitting around on a first Saturday. You know, just recharge everything you have, and it's it's going to be a sixth of what you've been doing, at least. So uh, people have to actually get out if they really want to score some big points during a first Saturday. So uh, do you want to have an anomaly in Triana? Uh, I'm, I'm going to have my own. I'm going <laughs> to make it. You can come or you, you know, you can stay well, in wherever. Well, if, if, if events in May, or April, um, uh, or May, you can apply April 24th, or the events in June apply by May 29th. So see if you can get a location for the anomaly. So maybe this one's uh, by reservation instead of by action. Yeah, and I hope there will be a little bit of a, a mix there. I, I think it's nice that Niantic is accepting you know, submissions for, for locations on that, but it, at some point, I, I feel like with a competitive event... I would like to see, you know, more of a more of a decision from Niantic on where those locations are being held. That way, it doesn't put so much, I guess, like onerous on the individual factions to decide those locations. Because I feel like it's a real easy way for for inner faction, you know, hurt feelings to arise, and that's across the board. And I never like to see people get alienated for 
you know, just wanting to submit an event in an area. Mm-hmm. We had teething pains for that way back in the day when first Saturdays were just starting to become a thing overall. And I just feel like it's a pitfall that can be avoided as long as Niantic kind of mixes things up a little bit and doesn't just go cookie cutter with what uh, form submissions are. Yeah. Now, there is some interesting information on the form, too. Um, you know, they want a, a 10 kilometer uh, diameter and no less than 350 portals. So try in is out. Just immediately, because I think there's like under twenty. So you get you got to get submitting. <laughs> yeah, build huh. your portal mecca. <sighs> I'll be like fifty and ten meter and how much? Ten kilometer 10, area. Okay, a ten k area, three hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, the battles are expected to take somewhere between sixty and one hundred and eighty minutes. And the rules will be released no less than one week before the battle date. Mm-hmm. And uh, then there's application information and stuff. So uh, I'll have to look get, at that. I don't look at the link. Our area just might make that. We have a couple collections that might be within 10k of each other. Well, they're prioritizing uh, locations that have you know a faction leader from both Order factions. Established. So oh, hey, look at that. Bay. Thanks, JBJ Blaze for 55. Month Woo! something, fifty five months. Currently on a fifty one month streak. That's amazing. <laughs> He's been subscribed for for you know long duration of the hiatus. <laughs> He's been here longer than I have. I feel like we need to record like some extra episodes just for him. We <laughs> <laughs> just for you, David J. Blaze. All right, thanks. So, but yeah, I I wholeheartedly agree with you there, Vane, on that like. Um, you know, do some work. <laughs> I mean, I know they're already doing some work. It's like this weird thing because it's like, hey, we're kind of working with you, and yet there it can cause issues too. So how do you kind of do it in a way that's um both? Like, do you think some people would go uh, would be upset that they weren't taking that kind of direction from the community i think it could go both ways uh i could see folks being upset that they're prioritizing you know areas where you might be able to get cross-faction poc support over you know maybe an area where traditionally cross-faction not isn't so good but that area hasn't seen events before uh, or it's been a long time since an event has been held in that that region I think as long as there's a mix to try to make it as fair as possible for the entire community, that should be good. But mm. I'd, I'd like to believe that Niantic isn't going to rely entirely on, on the form submissions. Otherwise, it could put it in a, a weird spot from a competitive point of view. Yeah. It'd be, it's kind of hard because you're going to have those areas that are, you know, typically it's all blue or typically it's all green. And they're going to they're gonna submit. And so they, you got to get the mix of one of each. To counter to counterbalance each other or find that place in between. Uh, so we, we've we've noticed that there was an area that was kind of north of where uh, we've had our portals ornamented, and they had some portals ornamented. And we've actually said, you know, we need to take on those guys in Peru, Indiana. And so we're looking for a place in between that we can do a little battle beacon thing and have the frog show up and have us show up and have our own little little deal. So it's so it's well balanced. Because, uh, you, you, like you said, it's kind of a roll of the dice. You know, they put it in a park, and there's a bunch of blue there. It's not as fun as if you had five and five. So, yeah, and I think too, with it being a, a competitive event, it, it's a different beast organizational wise from something like a friendly, you know, first Saturday or or a mission day. The expectations from the, the community on both sides are a little different for how you would approach that. And I, I think it's just a little bit more difficult when the location isn't necessarily announced, but it's it's almost like your choice is saying like, hey, we're going to run this uh, you know super intense faction versus faction battle here. Uh, come and support us when folks might not necessarily agree on, on locations. So I mm-hmm. think it'll be interesting, but I'm also glad to hear that they are still allowing agent participation through self-deploys. Uh, at yeah. least that's the impression that I get from 
just the formatting being similar to Curie's effect. So as long as there's still a participation method that way, if a location can't come to an X faction consensus, agents could still battle and participate. Yeah. I think that'll be a good thing. And they are giving us dates way in advance, although we don't know where they're at. Uh, you can quote unquote clear your schedule and hope that it's, you know, within a car ride or a train ride or whatever it happens to be your mode of transportation. Just go ahead and plan for Triana. We'll get those portals in. <laughs> go find the Pokemon Go community. Get them, get them working. Yeah, that'll <laughs> happen. Boy, they will. You, you've got, I would say, you've got a, uh, what, a park right across the river there. You, you know, light that up. You'd have to have one for each tree, but, you know, it'll work. Well, it's been done, right? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's probably has. I mean, you know, there's a trail there. It's a very loose it's really not a trail, but there's signs for it. <laughs> like they say trail and there's like a trailhead sign yeah. for like, I mean, it's like 50 feet. It's weird. I'm like, what? How did, why? Anyway, um, I submit, there's two sides to it and I submitted one and it got accepted. And then I submitted the other one. And they're like, no, this is a duplicate. And I'm like, I understand why you might <laughs> think that because it's like really close and <laughs> It just doesn't make sense, but it's really not. It's a completely different sign. Um, so, yeah, we have a, a thing. I need to resubmit it. We have a nature center around where we're at, and I think that we've got it pretty well populated. But it was pick one and then move, you know, 150, 200 down, pick another one and do all those. And then when those are good, then pick the ones in the middle and do those. And then so it's just filling in, filling in. And it's taken quite a while, but uh, it has quite a quite a number out there. I know the pokey players love it a lot. So, Yeah, I've seen a couple yeah. of parks locally here almost like quadruple in, in size thanks to things like uh, story walks <laughs> where it's like <laughs> every every 15 feet there's a, a page of a story and you know I see those going and I'm like okay this, this park is just the density is just going to skyrocket. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a purist though. I, I'll submit pretty much anything but I, I really like to, to focus on the, the unique stuff so yeah. Like anytime I see a plaque, I'm like, okay, if it's eligible, I'll submit it. But if it's just cookie cutter, I, I just get kind of bored with it. I'm like, okay, I want to see some more like, you know, unique art installations or the really, really strong candidates. That's the stuff that interests me. Not like me Bob submitting. and June's bench. Yeah. Number four out of, <laughs> you know, 20. <laughs> I'm going to see if. No, you'll keep talking. Sorry. I didn't okay. mean to. <laughs> I was trying to find <laughs> a link to the the um, thing. Anyway, go on. Speaking it, of links. Go for it. The dynamic links. So Ingress uh, version 2.90.1 uh, just dropped earlier today. And uh, with it, we got a new change for dynamic links. And that is not a link that you would create with the scanner, but it's actually a link that you can create from the scanner and send to other agents so they can ah. view the portal in the scanner without the associated key. So what you would pretty much do here is you'd open up the scanner, tap on a little button for, for sharing a link to that portal, and then you can send that in your, your chat platform of choice. Other agents can click on that link, open up the scanner and view that, that portal. So uh, it's kind of like a link on intel but instead you're actually seeing the portal as though you're standing at the portal with the scanner correct yes yeah it'll, it'll open up the the link in the scanner as if you had the key and we're, we're doing a remote mm -hmm. view through the key it's just you won't be able to recharge it unless you have the a key. key so you would be able then to look and see if there's like keys on the ground or you know those items that are that you would only see if you had the scanner that was there yeah, poking around, actually testing this, uh, found a capsule that was a, a couple hours away and was then going into local chats like, oh, there's a capsule, a capsule on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, go, go pick up this capsule. It was full, full of L1s, right? Oh, it was probably junk. It, it, was, it was absolutely <laughs> probably junk. But yeah. we also have some, some portal scanning uh, changes coming along with that. So once everybody is on the 2.90.1 update a portal scan meter is going to be added into 
the uh, game where agents can collectively contribute seven portal scans per septa cycle to schedule a rare battle beacon uh, on the scan portal at the end of the septa cycle. Or if they contribute 13 scans, a portal fracker will be deployed on the portal immediately after the 13th successful scan is uploaded during that septa cycle. So some incentives here for, for portal scanning once we're all on the same version. So on that last one, so if we do 13 portal scans, is that on the same portal or just any portals? For the, the same portal. So essentially okay. the seventh uh, scan on that portal, at the end of the septa cycle, a rare battle beacon will appear uh, for mm -hmm. agents to fight over. But after the 13th scan, immediately as soon as the 13th scan is uploaded, once during a septa cycle, you can spawn a fracker on a portal. So free free frackers in exchange for portal scans. Yet to yet to see how that'll play out in terms of uh, you know farming metas or or usability. But I think it's definitely an interesting interesting change. Uh, I know yeah. agents were asking for some sort of compensation for for portal scans, and I think you know frackers being a item that you pay for CMU. I could see this being a nice incentive for either farming or. Or just really quick, like I just want to, you know, get a get a fracker on this portal for keys or whatever mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, I could see a lot of uh, L8 farms, you know, pick that portal that's kind of stingy, and let's just scan the crap out of it, and uh, we get the fracker going on it. That's possible. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. See what happens with that. See if uh, then maybe it'll get you know people out and working together too. Well, I don't know about in your area, but I know in our area things have relaxed a little bit. The uh, mask uh, regulations have relaxed, and so we are seeing more people out and about. And I'm sure with the weather getting warmer, we should see more. Um, so I think that they're kind of moving back to the get out there and move agents. And uh, that's a that's a good thing. So just an update. I, I had to get into Wayfair and see. So they uh, there's the there's the sign, and it got approved. So uh, the resubmit Ooh, worked. Portal. There you go. Now the other portal. I mean, I don't know. I mean, come on, that's some <laughs> artwork there. That is some major <laughs> artwork. And a dog can put his head in that hole. One star. I, I was going to say, is that three dimensional? Yeah, that looks. If it's three dimensional, yeah, that's that's a piece of art. Yeah, no, it's three dimensional. Like, Goonie, are you trying to submit your couch? What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, it's next door neighbors. Uh, portal. It's actually a portal. It's a view through um, the fence, but it's um, I don't is know. It, is it forty meters from inside your house? <sighs> yeah, actually, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good chance. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So my question with this is, so there's apartment buildings all over the place that on the outside, there's murals and stuff that get approved. Is the fact that there's a yard attached to this, whether it's, uh, I forget the term, the, you know, there's a easement or whatever. The city technically can do whatever. So it's not technically public, but it's like the sidewalk right there is public and you're going to be walk i don't know i think, I think the sidewalk it's... could could be a good argument but i i definitely know this one would lose in the in the wayfarer forms uh oh, in it terms lost. Of debates like <laughs> this is this is oh, the public. kind of thing that gets private property tested but yeah private private property one star slap slap yeah yeah i had to try though right well, I next mean, time he, you'll have to he put a lot of work the, into that crop the picture a lot tighter next time so you can't tell it's on a fence or where it's at. I mean, oh, that's, that's difficult. <laughs> I'll have to do some Photoshop <laughs> to make it not look like a fence. Oh, Photoshopping. Uh, well, you can make see. it look like a fence. Just, you know, that she doesn't look like a fence in somebody's yard. Okay, one day. <laughs> we can all dream. I, the, just just got to put in a little free library. You, you've got a sidewalk. You're good. Tell them they can get books out of that. Um, yeah, I might do that. I do that. I'll laser one up and get it sent out there. Make there, a there, little free portal, you know. 
So, uh, I'm. How do you like? I, I feel like that would still be on like private property, is it not? Is it the fact yeah. that you're letting people walk onto it to get books, and you're saying, "Yeah, you can do that," that it's okay? Well, most of the ones that I've seen that have gotten approved are, you know, right up against the sidewalk. So it's like public sidewalk. You're in a residential area, but it's still either, you know, fairly urban or the sidewalk makes it very convenient for you to, to go up on it. It's not like it's right up against the house. Yeah. And also, if it, since it's a free library and it's on somebody's property, that pretty much says, I don't mind people coming here to do that. You know, like your thing on the fence. It could be some guy, hey, you kids, get off my lawn. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You don't, you don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. I, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm definitely not contesting that one. I knew it would make it, <laughs> but I had to try. So, um, you want to see one that didn't make it? Yes. I feel like we need, like, everybody send in your worst submissions. Like, go through your <laughs> oh, Wayfair no. and, like, show, like... and. Like there are so many that I look back and I go, oh my god! Like how? Do, why did I even try that? <laughs> like there's no reason to. And you know, there was a time when I didn't know, right? Early on, mm -hmm. but this one. Have you ever had a gazebo not make it? What is up? I think it's the uh, since it's sitting on that concrete slab, it, folks are like not permanent installation. Yep. I'm, yep. I mean, it's concrete. It did. <laughs> more permanent i like it's anyway i will say that uh the six that i put in uh nearby i did have one of the missions had a little prime tips on it and it got through now i don't know if the other one's going to get through but it's it actually has two agent academy logos in it one green hey. and one blue oh so we'll see if we can push that one through and we'll have our own "Quote unquote official mission that nobody can get to." Now that is uh, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, it was it's a uh, it's a park area for grilling. Did it, did it go through? Oh no no no! Oh, okay, no. it was picnic you just, area. You never did you never make know. It. Yeah you'd uh, yeah. <laughs> That was a better chance than the duck library. They, I mean, it says library in the title. I don't know how that one did not make it. Uh, I'm too embarrassed to even show that one. <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay, I'll show it. I'll show it. Right. I had to download it first. I mean, it says library right there above it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> like, <laughs> it looks like it's next to a bat. No, that's not a bathtub. <laughs> no, no, no. It's in like, uh, it's a company's like library where they share the books. Oh, uh, okay. So it's, like, it's I like, really think it's actually probably a good submission if you knew the whole story behind it. Yeah. But it's never going to fly in any sense of the word, and I wouldn't expect it to. And, and that's the thing is... You rely upon what people see in Google Maps, and if it's a new construction, good luck. There's the whole story right there behind the Duck Library. Duck Library. Yeah. But anyway. Well, nobody gives a duck, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, well, they, they gave a duck. They gave a duck right up my... <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I think that's, uh, we got a scanner code that someone put in the doc. I assume that's from uh, Dewey J there. Uh, that's not my work. Oh, no, that's from, is that from you, Agent Vane? Nose goes, nose goes. Okay, well, uh, there's a code. It's on Mystery the screen. Code. It'll be put in chat, I'm sure. Let's see. Copy and paste it. And then uh, the code for this episode, it's live. You can go get it now. It's um, AA Triana AA. Lots of Go get your badge for this episode. Now you have to go submit it after so, you uh, bulk Jimmy, up on portals. So, Mr. Blaze, that's A A T R I A N A A A. He's probably already got it in. That's that. 
And that's and that's that. That reminds me of uh, that movie, Michael. Got a flat, and that was that, or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> old movie. I'm gonna go take some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you sound like you've already started a little bit. I know. That's a. You, you got to get on the tea. Like you know, where's where's the tea and honey? I I think if you just keep on what you're doing, you know, say I'm not sick. I'm not sick. You'll be all right. That's what we're gonna do. Failed Maybe. submission. Yeah, that one failed. Now look at that. That's a that's a proper portal. You got the XM in the air there, like. Yeah. Might be kind of hard to get to it, but other than that. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you look at the rules, it actually says not to submit that. But there are so many of those in the network. I feel like it needs to be um, grandfathered in, grandmothered in. I don't know what the right term is. Step grandfather? It should be allowed. I've seen a number image. of those labeled as like water fountain, and it's you know they're they're kind of placed a little bit a little bit closer to the the edge of the water. That way, you don't actually have to go swimming. Oh my god! I just did something wrong. Oh no! There it is. Sorry. Oh oh oh. Oh well, you're gonna have to live with that image because I don't know where it is. There, <laughs> it is. <laughs> there it is. You got it. And it says uh, rejected, and I love this now that you can see in Wayfair, like the rejection criteria. It says natural feature. What? No, I don't think so. I think that's, uh, but it says pedestrian access also. So those so, were the So you need reasons. to Photoshop in a little sidewalk that goes from there to the edge. I don't know about these yeah. cheating ways that the resistance has here. That uh, I didn't say I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Scandalous. Some jokes. All right. I'm sorry. I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a good week. Need to get some uh, cold medicine in you. We'll, yeah. we'll be back next week, I think. Maybe. If I don't get fired, they're going to fire me. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Jason. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>